Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'll be making a gravity feeder uh, for my chickens and my ducks using a 34 gallon uh, trash can uh, and a 4 inch PVC elbow. Uh, I'll be uh, cutting a hole to match the 4 inch PVC pipe towards the bottom end of the, uh, the trash can and then I will uh, obviously insert the PVC pipe uh, angling down and then I will seal it up. Uh, the idea and the purpose behind this is because uh, it's a bigger container. I'll have to fill it. Once I fill it up, I won't have to fill it up again for a very long time. 2.5 gallons of feed right now currently lasts me about a week. So um, doing the math, it should last uh, up to about 13 weeks. So I'll fill this up and I won't have to fill it up and feed them for 13 weeks. That's ridiculous. Um, so it uh, makes it so it's less maintenance job. Um, makes it less work more fun uh, so but uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, place the uh, side where I'm gonna put the PVC pipe hole and then I'm going to draw it out and then I'm going to slowly cut it uh, I don't have anything crazy tools so I'm using a sharpie to mark it and a little uh, paring knife to uh, slowly edge out um, the hole so alright as you can see I've gone ahead and I traced it with a sharpie about uh, seven, eight inches above the bottom of the trash can. And then I've also gone ahead and I started uh, cutting it out with a, a paring knife. And uh, to get the angle and stuff, I have to do a little bit at a time and uh, slowly adjust my knife as I go around. So, um, it's a slow process so far. The, you know, the, the tracing and the cutting itself is uh, taking me like five minutes or so. So it's not crazy. Um, but. I guess if you had like a jigsaw, the small, you know, blade, maybe it'll go a little faster. But when I come back, it'll be done. And I'll start to insert the PVC pipe elbow. All right, the cutting is done. Uh, I wanted it a tight cut so it fits tight to the PVC pipe so nothing. Uh, not, not as much food can leak out, but either way, I'll be cocking it in the end, so let me go ahead and insert the PVC pipe. Alright, I've got the PVC pipe elbow started. I'm just going to get it in there. Actually, that's a very good, nice and tight fit. I'm actually very surprised. Uh, so, obviously, as you can see, the idea is they will uh, come up, stick their heads in there, because they got pretty long necks, and actually, I'll have to shave off some of the uh, back side of the elbow, so they can maybe not to shove their head so deep in there um, but it'll uh, feed down to the bottom we even got the back side of the trash can angled to the front towards the nozzle so it's not too bad and uh, yeah it's not too bad I think it should work pretty good so let me go ahead and shave the back side of that off about two inches with the uh, circular saw and uh, show you what I got Go ahead and shade uh, about two inches off the back side, and it's that much less that they have to reach in and get the food from. And now it's complete. Um, I'm going to have to go grab some caulking, and I'm going to do the outside. Right that little uh, perimeter right there, but other than that, I don't think I'm going to do the inside. Um, just, I don't feel like it's necessary. I'm just going to go around that inner lip, but uh, I think it's tight enough to put food in, and that it won't leak, so... I'll go ahead and see how that works. Just so y'all can see, the feeder on the right, I actually spent 34 bucks on that. And it lasts me about a week to, uh, I fill it up, it lasts me about a week. The feeder on the left costed me about 24 bucks, and it's going to last me at least three months when I feed it, or when I fill it. So, just a comparison of uh, prices and also the size and just what it's going to take to uh, get this job done. So, I'm going to go ahead and replace this now and uh, fill it up and see how it works. All right, that is one five gallon bucket's worth of food and uh, it's barely making to the bottom of the uh, nozzle as you can see a little bit of light pouring in so that's uh that's what I used to put out for a week so that's one bucket let's go see what more looks like. That's two buckets just barely covering the nozzle. Uh, two buckets worth that's what uh, the feed's looking like they stick their neck right in there grab the food go on their merry way. Things that work pretty well. Three five gallon buckets. And when I came in here to uh, put this third bucket in there, they were already eating out of it. So I'm going to show you all how that looks. I'm get a sneak peek real quick. They might fly away after I open the door. So 
here it is. Didn't take them long. I literally had this trash can here for about five minutes. It's already getting used. They ain't dumb. They know what feed is. They may be chickens, but Daddy's bringing home the bacon. So I'm out of food. I didn't expect to have that much, but that's how much food I have in there. That's about uh, 150 pounds of food inside of there. So I'm going to put the top back on so they can be jumping on the top end. Yeah, so that's what a complete gravity feeder looks like. Cost 24 bucks and uh, took about five minutes to make and took five minutes for them to figure out how to use it. So I think this is a big success.